starting this job today everything out basically um all the tiles off the wall apart from this wall because we're letting this one out to get over the pipe work um that's coming through the wall so i'll probably bring that out inch and a half um new basin under the window toilet stairs where it is um all the shower comes out we're putting a uh, floor gully and we're making this into a wet room it's a bungalow so we'll have to break this floor up underneath the toilet get into the drain outside so toilet and that will come out we'll break all that floor up um radiator is being moved onto this wall here it's eight mil microbore so i'll have to go up in the roof see if it comes off a manifold or if it's just 15 to 8 reducers and then drop new new feeds going down there we've got a tower rail going in there um what else have we got um toilet as i say toilet stays where it is rip everything out new bar shower on there extract fan through the wall somewhere um mermaid boards all the way around um, so yeah it should be a nice little job this one uh, today's job is just going to be get everything stripped out you know get it down to a blank canvas see exactly where exactly where we're going with it and then well later on this afternoon depends how we get on and can start first fixing um but yeah we'll just carry on we'll keep going and hopefully we get on all right so for a start we'll just turn the feed off to the toilet system somebody's put a turbo 88 in there and as I say, the reason we'll lap this wall out is just to get over these pipes, just so everything's nicely, nicely hidden there. Because the toilet's going back in the same place, we should just be able to put our pan connector straight back in there, so that one's not an issue. These hot and colds and that will sort out. Yeah, yeah, we'll be right. I'm not sure about where that waste is going, but we can always cap that one off in the ground and there's a soil pipe just on the outside, so we can always drill through and boss back in. We'll just isolate them here, if they work, for the basin. Weird isolators they are. Do me get them pipes cut off. So what they've done there is they've tiled on top of the tiles, put mosaics in. It was probably all the grout and everything was cracked, but they never bothered taking the screen out. Um, so it probably means I can't get them profiles off, so we just have to smash them out. I do like the wood inside the shower. To be fair, it's not got wet, but 
you know, just put them profile trims over the top, uh, like tail trims. Just the silicon that was holding it. <laughs> Get hold of it and rip it off. So I'll have to chop all these towels off all the way through. I've got a double layer there. But it'll be alright. It's having new ceiling as well. I don't know if I said that, but all the coving will come off. This is being overboarded. Um, so yeah. yeah I'll knock it out next. I do have a crowbar by the way, but that's my trusty screwdriver. Oh, our waste pipe's already dropping in the floor, so we may not even need to break the floor across here. Say so I'm working for the builder, so it's the first time I've seen this job this morning, so we may just be able to break this floor up and put one of them cowpine floor gullies in the middle um, chop the screw back and then they'll work the fall in into the floor gully um, we'll have a look at that is what I'm trying to say but yeah we'll sort it to be fair to them that shower tray is proper solid whoever put that in it's only a plastic, it's only a plastic one like plastic and foam these are but it's solid it's probably because it's been tiled and then tiled again um, but I'll break that out, smash it out, do whatever we can. Quickest way, you know. The legs are actually screwed down as well. The legs are probably stuck on better than the... But this is a blackboard wall. If I'm not careful, I'm going to end up punching all that screen. But it needs to be reboarded, it'll be reboarded. Board off, so rather than try it, save it. Just, just it. I've tried flicking them off in a few places, but it's literally just pulling the Thing, the plasterboard behind it, so it's only a few sheets of plasterboard, it, it's not the end of the world. <sighs> just got to be a little bit careful down there because the pipe's but basically what I do is just knock a chunk out and then just pull the plasterboard off it. Tiled over the wallpaper, you look to see it in there. In fairness to the plasterboard around the bottom of the shower tray, it's never been wet, so I think on the blackhead plasterboard it said 1988. Um, it just goes to show if you put your tray in solid, you know, it should be fine. I know people use all that cupboard, and you know, there's all sorts of different products in there now, um, but it's all about the preparation, obviously, making sure nothing moves. Oh, they'd even screwed the back leg. They must have put that in first and then dropped that on. Um, so if our waste pipe, it depends if our waste is low enough 
the floor looks to be going up a bit there as well um but all we can do is break that out and see see the way that waste pipe runs there is a gully on the outside with two going through so i'm guessing one's for the basin and one's for the uh shower it may be that we need to get a new one out lower or it may be that we're okay so that's got the basin unit all flat packed and out that waste pipe at the bottom um it's going straight through the wall into that gully i might call it higher up because we're having a wall hung basin with a chrome trap on it so it might, it's probably just going to pay to disconnect that one out of the gully drill a new one through um and then we're battening this wall out anyway so i'll just work out when my hot and colds are going to need to be i haven't actually got the basin ordered yet because i'm not sure which one the customer wants i need to have a word with them um, but either way we just need to bring the pipes out in the right place probably a couple of bent isolation service valves and then straight up and into the taps um, which will be work perfectly. Right, that's going everything stripped out now. Um, still got the wallpaper and that to do, but I'm not too worried about that in a minute. We've done all the tiles, we've took all the coving off, all the bits and bobs. Um, my next job is going to be have a look at this, take take this radiator off, and then we'll be having a look at this floor gully. Um, <clears throat> so this is the bit that's unknown really. Um, but yeah, we'll get this rad off and then we'll have a look at that. Eight mil, eight mil micro wall. I mean. Sometimes this this will go back to a manifold potentially, or it might just come off like them shotgun connections, uh, or it might just come off a 15 mil or a 22 mil pipe. We'll have to go up in the roof. What I'm probably going to do, what I'm probably going to do with all the services on this job, is go up in the roof and put some lever valves on them hot and colds. To be fair, they may come off a separate branch, so we might just be able to put the lever valves up there which will feed this one bathroom then it gives us full control likewise on these flow returns up in the roof i'll probably put put some lever valves just so we're not having to keep draining down and stuff um i mean we'll bring ours down in, in 15 mil because i don't like eight mil at the best of times So careful with this 8mm stuff because it's so easy to kink. So hold against yourself. I'm going to put my two thumbs on this. Just makes it a bit easier to carry some of a bit of a gimmick but if it saves i mean i've got carpet protected down and everything but if it just saves spilling up bit more manky water and looking at the color of water it is proper manky so we just got them out i'm interested to see because it wouldn't be the first time and it won't ever be the last Obviously, this micro ball can block up so i'm just going to crack each valve into a bucket Got flow there. I mean, there's probably just enough water on there to make that rad work, but that's microwave blocks somewhere. 
We'll have to go up in the roof and see if we can find it. But look, that valve is full open. That one was all right. But you can pee faster. It's, as I say, it's not the first time. And it certainly won't be the last. So it may, normally, if they're done on a manifold, it blocks right back at the manifold. I'm actually going to end this one there, um, just because I'll probably include another job before the strip out, and then the next video will be like the, you know, the plumbing and the waste pipes and the, all the good stuff really. But you've got to do the bad stuff. Well, I'm not calling this bad stuff. Um, the strip out is, is the, the bit I enjoy the least, I suppose. Um, but yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you didn't hit the dislike, and we'll catch you all next time. Thank you.